Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today I've got a 2014 Kia Soul. And of course you've seen these things out on the road. They've been selling very well for Kia. And of course who can forget those hamster commercials. So when they redesigned it for 2014, the last thing they wanted to do was change it up so much that they lost the funky vibe that's made it so popular. After all, when Scion redesigned their XB, they completely lost it. So, as you can see, all these design changes that they've made on this all-new vehicle are so subtle that you probably couldn't even tell the difference between it and the 2013 model unless you were looking closely. But rest assured, this is an all-new vehicle. It's got an all-new interior that's roomier because of a wheelbase that's been stretched almost an inch. And best yet, it's got a new front suspension and steering system that promises to give its driving experience a new soul. The closer you look, the more you realize that this Kia Soul shares not a single piece of exterior sheet metal or trim with the old one. It's a ground up redesign in plain sight. The hood now wraps over the fenders and frames sleeker headlamps that continue to look you in the eyes. New integrated badges on the fenders give a more premium look and all new wheels for 2014 freshen the scene. At the rear, a wraparound black glass styling element gives the appearance of a floating color panel in the middle. Bolder tail lamps look more integrated and flowing while dark plastic lower bumpers anchor its silhouette better than before. It's funky fresh as always, but didn't lose the vibe that made it popular. Where the money's really at for the new Kia Soul is this interior. It's completely new and redesigned and for 2014 has a lot more features. And of course, with our fully loaded Primo package, there's a lot to offer. The Primo package features include two-tone leather seating and soft trims throughout with accent stitching. The theme covers the steering wheels, door panels, dash, as well as the seats. Also part of the Primo package is an expansive opening panoramic moonroof, which is very uncommon in this price range. All right, so we're sitting here in the cockpit and I'm just sort of looking around and taking this in a little bit. The first thing I noticed is this piano black trim here and these satin chrome accents that you see have a really nice look. Uh, it just really adds to the sense of quality in here. And of course, all the materials on this interior are actually something you'd expect to find in a vehicle that costs quite a bit more. Now, we do have the Primo package and pretty much every option that Kia offers on this thing. And that includes this Infinity Uvo sound system with nav. It's got a touch screen interface that reacts pretty well to your touch. Some of them don't, but you don't have to press them twice to change stations or do other functions. And of course the switch gear all has a nice quality look and feel. This does have the climate control also, very easy to use. Heated and cooled seats, something you don't expect to find even as an option in cars below $30,000. Another thing, this is a heated steering wheel too. It's actually really warm and toasty in my hands right now. Very comfy. Um, also on the steering, and we'll talk about this a little later when we're driving, is it's got an adjustable power steering. Uh, you can adjust it from sport to uh, comfort to normal, which basically is the level of assist you get from the power steering. And of course, all your controls are right here along with the, just a pretty nice looking steering wheel. The quality in this vehicle is well beyond what the price tag suggests, something that Kia has really been concentrating on in the last few product launches. The Infinity sound system also sounds exceptional by the way. It has eight speakers including cool looking towers on either side of the dash. On the front doors are some gimmicky but fun speakers with light up rings that can provide color changing mood lighting or can flash to the beat. As you can see, this rear seat's plenty commodious, I got plenty of legroom, and the seating position's high enough that it can be comfortable for a good long road trip. Now part of this Primo package is kind of a nice thing in this price range. I've actually got seat heaters back here. On the road, the Kia Soul rides and drives not at all like the Econobox tin cans many might perceive of the Kia brand. With a 29% stiffer chassis for 2014, it's quieter and has a much more solid feel than ever before. The big change for 2014 in the chassis is a new rubber isolated front suspension subframe. And what that does is it takes out a lot of the roughness and vibration that you might have felt from road imperfections in the past. 
and to me it is a noticeable difference over the 2013 model that we test drove last summer. It just has a more premium feel. You know, now that we're in the age of vehicles that have electric power steering that's controlled by the computers, there's no reason we can't have multiple adjustabilities to them. And Kia already keyed in on that fact, and they're now offering an adjustable steering system. Here on the steering wheel, I can press a button and adjust it from comfort to normal to sport. And what that does is it changes the level of power steering effort. Like on sport, it's very low. So as I go into this curve, it's got a nice, heavy, tight feel. But if I'm driving around town, um, I can set it on comfort, which is super light, a lot of assist, which is probably good if you're driving in a city setting. Um, but it's just nice to be able to adjust that on the fly. Under the hood of our Kia Soul Plus model comes a 2 liter, 164 horsepower direct injected 4 cylinder engine with a standard 6 speed automatic transmission. A smaller 1.6 liter engine with 130 horsepower comes standard with the base model. Now acceleration with this 2 liter engine is actually far better than you'd expect. And you can really hear it when you put your foot in it. And best of all, this 6 speed automatic transmission actually is paired to it pretty well. It lets it shift up when it needs to, it lets it shift down when it needs to. Um, and when you start asking of true performance, the transmission gets out of your way and delivers the power. The Kia Soul Plus is rated by the EPA at 23 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, and 26 miles per gallon combined. In our time with the Soul, we got the advertised average of 26 miles per gallon. Given Kia's snafu with mile per gallon ratings last year, this is a good thing. Well folks, I have to tell you, I kind of like this thing. It's cute, it's fun to drive, and at $24,000 fully loaded, it feels a lot more expensive than it is. And of course, that's attributed mainly to that new interior that's got higher quality materials and a much nicer, more premium design, and also that new front suspension and steering that makes the driving experience far more premium. So this week, I give it four and a half out of five stars. I'm Sam Hanemart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Oh, and one more thing. This is the first vehicle that we've tested for 2014 that goes on the Test Driven TV I Buy It list. If you'd like a more detailed review and photo galleries, log on to activityvehicle.com.